Could the Uganda National Chamber of Commerce usher in a new leader after 15 years? With only weeks to the election of the president of the Uganda National Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the CEO of Good African Coffee, Andrew Rugasira, has publicly expressed interest in running for the position due to what he termed as inefficiencies in the institution. The current president, Olive Chigongo, who has been leading the umbrella organization that brings together businesses and entrepreneurs in the country since 2001, however, says he must follow procedures. And I think this is on account of poor leadership, poor governance structures, and a chamber that has failed to migrate to a new age. But before I go for elections, the board of directors sit, dissolve, the whole board dissolved, and then sets a date for, uh, for, the, for elections. And that is done through the secretariat. Now, until that is done, Anybody doing that out of, out of those structures, I don't think they know what they are doing. Rugasira became a member of the association last year and has been critical of its leadership for failing to address challenges of members, allegations which Olive Chigongo has no kind words for. Uh, the issues of credit not being available, capital being expensive, the financial market being shallow and narrow. You look at property market, you look at dollarized rents, look at high interest rates for borrowing and mortgages, a whole host and raft of challenges that the marketplace is facing. Any of you can see that the, the, car, the stress column has nothing to do with the chamber. It has to do with the, a lot of things. And uh, to say that the chamber, if had been active, we shouldn't have gone through this, uh, maybe, I, I would say that's ignorance. Rugasira further faults the chamber for not tapping into the available opportunities to the advantage of the private sector and the economy. The other day, you saw how the president of South Korea came to Uganda. You also saw how the Turkish president came to this country. The Turkish president actually came with a, a plane load uh, of, of entrepreneurs. The, the president of the Chamber of Commerce in Turkey came with a plane load of, of investors. But you know that even how we received them and uh, the kind of transactions we should have done and the deals that should have been done didn't happen. Who mobilized the business community of Uganda? It is on record. Go to Minister of Foreign Affairs, go to Minister of Trade. We were the ones who organized those business meetings. And we were in the process for a follow-up meeting go to Turkey. Set up in 1933. The Uganda Chamber of Commerce is the oldest private sector association in the country. It has a paid-up membership of 5,000 and will hold its elections for president at the end of this month. Ingrid Nantege, NTV.